All right, so we are going to learn how to hand roll out our slabs today. We are gonna take our two thickness strips. Okay, we wanna place them on either side, actually both sides of our clay. And the purpose for that is, is so we can get a nice even slab. I'm also gonna press it down a little bit to make sure that I'm not rolling forever. And I'm trying to get it as flat as possible. All right, so the thickness strips are on the side. I'm gonna take my rolling pin and I'm gonna begin rolling. Now I usually start from the middle and I usually stand when I roll. So I have more muscle behind it. And then I wanna make sure I also flip it. Okay, this is to make sure I get a nice, even slab. Okay, and I'm gonna flip it sideways because I wanna make sure it's wide enough to fit my template. And that's what we are going for here, is making sure it's wide enough to fit what we're doing. All right, I'm gonna flip it one more time. I want to make sure my canvas is flat too underneath so I don't get any wrinkles or lopsidedness. I'm just going to test to make sure it's big enough. It's almost there. It's not quite big enough. If it's your template's going over the edges, you need to make sure you keep on rolling. I'm actually going to flip it sideways and trim the sides just a little bit so I can make sure I'm rolling on my thickness strips. Okay, so I need to make it a little bit longer. And you're going to be able to hear when it's on the wood. You're also going to be able to feel when the clay stops moving, that's when you know it's flat enough. So my clay was still moving a little bit down there. I'm gonna measure it just a little bit shy. Just a little bit. Okay, my corners are a little bit. So I could trim up, so this template is a 10 by 10. I could trim my template up a little bit to be a nine by nine. If I'm like, maybe 10 by 10 is too big. I'm gonna see if I can roll a little bit more to push it out. I can. Beautiful. All right. So once I'm done with that, it's pretty. Fits pretty good. I can go with it. Um, I also have my circle template. Definitely fits my circle template. This was a nine inch circle, so nine inches is a pretty good size to roll out, not too difficult. And I'm gonna smooth out my clay. Okay, I'm taking a plastic rib and I'm just running it through to compress it. Compressing makes it stronger. We like nice strong clay. And then I'm gonna flip it. Saw that was a little bit even uneven on one side didn't apply too much pressure to it and then i am compressing again I can feel a little bit that I have a thick spot, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of a push. Now be careful when you don't roll with thickness strips because you can really get an uneven piece. I don't recommend doing this. I've done this many times, so I know what I'm doing, but always have the thickness strips when you are rolling out an even slab. Slabs need to be even. 
not odd. All right. So definitely a better fit with my square. So I'm going to cut it now. So I'm gonna line up my ruler. And this is how we get nice straight cuts. If you have a circle, and eh, it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but that's okay. So I'm gonna cut and then remove the clay. Do the same thing to the top, line up the ruler, make sure I'm gonna get a nice straight cut. Cut it across, remove the clay. And again, cut, remove the clay. And cut and remove the clay. All right, so I can remove my template and I have my square tile. I can also take a sponge to make sure my edges are nice and clean and perfect, but you have your tile.